Okay, folks, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is a, just a short video. I wanted to just show you guys my my earnings tabs, uh, you know, when I went into my DoorDash account. And let me hit this thing here so you can see down the bottom. You have to hold your uh, phone like long, long ways to see it. You'll probably be able to see it in the same size that I have it. But up top, right, uh, is basically, um, well, the next page will show the current week. But this was, this was last week, September 5th to September 11th, right? I mean, look, look, at my, look at my weeks. Now, I can't, for some reason, it won't let me go below where, July, where it says July. I look everywhere. If anyone knows if, how you find your statements from, like, the, the whole past year, or even how about last year's or the year, year before, are they not allowing us to, to show us our earnings, right? Do you, do you see my weeks here? Look, look at August, right? August was terrible, folks. It was so slow. Like because there was no one ordering. Look at the two the two weeks in August there. The eighth to the fourteenth, the fifteenth to the twenty first, right? And then look at August seventh. August seventh actually from um the the first to the to the seventh, I made seven hundred and twenty seven dollars, right? The week of July, that week, that was look how bad that was down the bottom, folks. And I was using two different apps or three, but on Uber. Like, for instance, if I made seven, now, here's the thing. Sometimes I didn't use Uber, like, or I didn't, I only took, like, one or two orders during the, dur during the whole week, okay? So I could probably add another 100 or 150 on top of that 757 at the top there. So let's just say 850. I'm, and I'm, that's, that's a stretch, okay? But, like, down the bottom where it says July 25th to July 31st, that would be a week in which I would try to do as much as I could to bring money in. And I probably only made probably four or 500 total before expenses. And this is all before expenses, folks. This isn't the gas. This isn't coffees and donuts and, <laughs> and lunch and whatever else I bought. Okay. This, this is, I've never had a, now let me just show you the next page. Okay. This is. This is current. This is the current week, October 3rd to the 9th, okay? And now, obviously, my day hasn't ended with the dash today, so it's going to add to that 232 that you see there. But look at, look at my best week, supposedly, $796, right? Now, do you think that's a lot of money, folks? <laughs> do, you, do you really think that's a lot of money? And this is my market. Like this is, and look at the other ones. Look at September nineteenth to the twenty fifth. Look at September twelfth. Basically six hundred bucks, folks. Now, did I make a little bit on Uber? Yeah, add about between fifty and hundred bucks on top of that. But still, it's not good money. And then down the bottom there. Well, you already saw the seven fifty seven. This is just the the second pay. I had to I had to like screenshot it in two separate screenshots. So. Is that a lot of money? I mean, here's the thing. If people with channels are not willing to show their, their earnings, and even if they are, how do you know they're not using them from someone else's app? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, you, I'm not saying people are lying, but you can't trust everyone here on YouTube. You can't. And I'm honest, folks. I'm showing you what I, what I make, right? So this is not. And look at the graph. Look at the, note, note the graph up top, folks. I never even got, I mean, it's showing $876. I don't even, I don't, I know I never made that. I never made $876. I don't know why they're even showing that. Cause I don't ever remember. Maybe that was when I first, maybe that was the first year I started or the first week or not. No, I'm sorry. Not the first week, but the first month. But I, I don't even ever remember that. All of my weeks are between five and 700 bucks and just cracking almost uh, here's the uh, Uber document is expired. By the way, just to give you a little update on that, I uh, I called them up to, um, you know, because I put my documents in, my registration and my insurance, right? And they wanted a TNC, a TNC inspection, which is basically another uh, vehicle inspection because they don't trust your vehicle inspection, right? And it's all bullshit. It's all just to make money for everyone, you know, it's crap. So 
I called them up and told them I'm not, I don't want to do ride share ever again. I just want to do Uber Eats. So now they had to reset my account. I have to reapply to Uber. It's crazy. But the guy said he thinks it'll all go through because I'm already in this system and it probably will. But it's so ridiculous, right? They want us to, and I don't care about the background checks. I'll pass them with flying colors every time. But the point of it is they don't, they don't even background check the, the, the customers, but they background check the drivers, right? We have to worry about the customers more than we have to worry about the drivers, folks. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's insane. That, that's a whole nother um, issue. And if you want to see those type of videos, go over to Rideshare Professor here on YouTube because he does a whole lot of them. Oh, boy. He could show you some beauties on there, folks. <laughs> Big shout out to Torsten over at Rideshare Professor. But I just thought that I would show you this uh, because it was it's important, you know. Now, here's the thing. The one final thing I'll say about this. I'm Right now, like as we're, I'm speaking, I, I was declining before I making this video. I was declining some orders from, um, from DoorDash because they sucked. And they're so small. And once the algorithm knows that you'll take the small ones, it'll keep sending you it. So now I'm back down to 66%. I'm not going to go below 60, though, because I, it'll take me too long to climb back up to 70. So between 60 and 70, I'm going to keep because thank you to my subscribers, all of you that wrote and some of you that wrote the information in there. And forgive me because I can't remember the person's name, but you know who you are. He put in one of my, he told me that as long as you're at 70% at 1159 at the night before it turns over to the next day of the month, okay, you're good for Top Dasher. In other words, you, or if you're at 70 going into the next month, then you get Top Dasher. That is when I'm going to track everything. When I'm Because right now, it's all, I haven't seen anything great. I'm not in the large order program, although I'm waiting to hear back from them on that because I'm supposed, they told me that I needed a few days back, like I needed 50 more deliveries. He said, oh, as long as your ratings stay up there and this and that, you'll, you'll get it. So not only will I be hopefully on the large order program that they promised me, but you can't trust them for anything, folks. And then I'll have Top Dasher. And then during that whole month, I'm going to, I'm going to work like, like a madman, you know, or, or at least work like I've been working. And I'm going to see where we're at at my, at my current weeks because I'll, what I'll do is come back and do another video next month on my earnings for the whole month of, um, of November because October, it's not going to show because I'm not, like, even though I have the stats, they won't give me top dasher. They're still giving me all the crap orders. I wonder how significantly, significantly better it's going to be even just at Top Dasher, which I want to thank Mr. Corinthians for writing what he wrote in my in the last video I did with his comments because he already tested his market and I I believe him and I trust his word, but the only reason I'm doing it is for my curiosity and also for the community, so that once I put once I put this whole baby to bed, folks. Once I know that it's a, a full scam, and even if it wasn't, even like even if they rewarded you so significantly, I still would not want this program, folks. I, I don't like the fact that 80, 80 to 85 or even 90 percent of us don't want to be in that program because we know it's bull crap and it's all uh, a program just to be able to take the trash orders, you know, that are low ball and no tips. I mean, I can't even tell you how many low ball. And a few no tippers that I've already had doing this. You have you have no choice, folks. The system is rigged to make sure that in order for you to get top dasher, you can't get to top dasher unless you take trash. They're not going to give you all trash, but they're going to give you a significant amount of it. And I just declined about four orders, folks, four or five, and I've already dropped down to sixty six percent because they were terrible. It was like five twenty five going seven point nine miles. I'm not going to do that. And, and, and I want to say, oh, look at this. They just paused my dash <laughs> as I'm making a video again, folks. And I'm rendering a video to make, to upload in a little while. So they paused my dash. Isn't that great? Look at this. Watch this. Return to dash. Look at it. It's paused. It's paused, folks. Imagine this crap. <laughs> it's unbelievable. By the way, just to let you know, folks, I only made 50 bucks. And it's not on the screen because I ended my dash earlier. I made 50 bucks from 7 o'clock this morning on Friday 
to basically, um, what was it, 12 o'clock? So that was five hours. I made $50. I made way more. Well, actually, I won't even say that. No, usually that's what I would make at lunch, about 50 bucks if I stayed on from 11 to 2. And I declined all kinds of orders to, to be able to do it. You know what I mean? So anyways, I want to give a shout out to Corinthians 2, my, my, one of my great subscribers, because he already confirmed all this stuff. And I totally believe him. And I know he's telling the truth. But like I said, I want to do it to see if my market's any different or what they're going to do to give me any, if, am I going to get a boost of money? Like you saw my best week, folks, and that, what I just showed you in the, in the um, you know, the ratings. Am I, are they going to give me, am I going to make another hundred, like for instance, my highest uh, week was 796. Am I going to ba- make 896 or $900? Is it even going to make a difference? Am I going to get an extra? But even if I did, Detroit Mike, big di- Mike, um, big Mike from Detroit, big shout out to you too, my friend. I hope everything's going well with you. I know it's a tough situation right now for you. We're all praying for you, man. Keep M- big Mike from Detroit in your prayers, folks. But anyways, he said... He says, good luck going for the top dashery. And uh, he basically said, you know, it's not, um, you know, you're still going to have to decline. You're still going to get crappy orders. You're still going to have to hit decline on some of them and all that. And, you know, I just have to be careful. I don't want to drop down in the 30s or 50s because then I have to go through all that crap again just to get to build it up. It takes so long to build it up. And then uh, then all of a sudden, you're, all your, I mean, Dreams are shattered by just 10, 15 declines, and now you're back down to 29, uh, 25%. This is, this is insane, folks. This program is terrible, no matter what, no matter what, because I couldn't get to, I, I couldn't even get up to 66% unless I took some crap orders. You, it, they're not going to just give you a whole string of great orders. Maybe one day they might, but then the next day, they'll mix a whole bunch of bad ones in with the good ones. But like I said... I'm going to test it. We're going to see what happens. And I got a long way to go because we're only, I mean, we're basically at, um, what is it? The seventh. Yeah. It's the seventh of, of, I mean, I got like three more weeks to go, so I got to be real careful. But if I got to grind again too, at the end of the month, I guess I'm going to have to do it. But when I get into November, that's, that's what's going to show. And by the way, it's going to be fairly much colder then because I live around the Boston area. So, I mean, in other words, it's East coast. Some of you may live in the West coast or you may live in Florida. And I want to say, um, shout out to anyone who does live in Florida. If you live in those, that hurricane area that got decimated, I'm so sorry that that happened to you down there. We're all praying for each and every one of you. And we hope you get well. We hope you get your life back together. We hope you know, your house is okay and things like that. P- please pray for all these people down there in Florida, folks, because they got decimated down there. And um, so anyways, it's warm and stuff in different parts of the country. So, but the winter time is usually fairly good. I mean, way better than summer. And so, and it's supposed to be, right? <clears throat> so we'll just see. Anyways, I just wanted to do this video uh, just to mention the things that I mentioned and to document my earnings in this so you could see that I'm not some guy that is making a thousand and fifteen hundred dollars and five hundred I mean I'm making less I'm making seven hundred and less there's weeks I made three hundred and I remember going back even to the beginning of this year which I couldn't find my earnings I couldn't find them going way back but I remember it was it was was not great um like I said most I ever made was 796 and the other um the other thing was, is that, um, the most I ever made in one day was 227 and my normal days are 160, 140, 130, 175. If I'm lucky, then I still got to put gas in the car. And then what do I have? Right. And that's not even anything else that you may have spent money on food. You might've got some oil for the car, like to add it. I mean, whatever, it's not every day you do that, but there's all these variables. So anyways, that's about all I got. I don't want to keep rambling here. I just wanted to do that so I could put this little video out. And uh, if I don't see you guys later tonight, because I may be going out uh, with a friend later on to go out for dinner or something, I might end my dash early. So 
Um, if, if I do, I'll just catch up with you guys tomorrow on Saturday. I'll make some videos tomorrow. I still, I'm behind in videos uploading. So give me some time, folks. <laughs> some good ones will be coming soon. All right. Anyways, take care of yourself. I hope all of you, all of you have a great night. Good, good weekend. I hope you're making money. God bless you all. And I'll see you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.